Hello everyone. Thank you for watching another episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to be making a recipe that brings back fond childhood memories. Whenever I would visit my grandmother Peacock in the summer, she would make fried okra that using okra that uh, she picked fresh that morning in the garden. Um, although I could never make her okra the way that she makes it. She I couldn't, can't recreate it even to this day, the way that she would do it. I can come close. I have veganized her recipe and I am sharing it with you as a celebration of her life for the upcoming Memorial Day weekend. I hope you like and share this recipe with your friends and family in memory of her. And if you make it, please let me know how it turned out. The tools that you're going to need to make my grandmother's fried okra are a knife, a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a cup, uh, you're going to need a couple of containers for your breading. I've got uh, three containers here for the breading station and also after I fry it I have a pan with a towel underneath. This one actually has holes in it too. You don't necessarily need to go through that step, uh, but I'm doing it today. The towel should be enough. And you're also gonna need a cast iron skillet or a thick pan to cook your uh, okra in. I normally cook it, or I have in the past cooked it in a cast iron skillet. This happens to be the pan that my grandmother used to cook her okra in. I inherited it from her. And so I'm going to be using her pan and no, you can't borrow it. The ingredients that you will need to make the fried okra are one pound of okra. You wanna to try to make this as fresh as possible. The fresher, the better. You'll need one half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. You'll need one quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. You'll need uh, one box of vegetarian Jiffy. You can use any brand, but Jiffy is the brand that my grandmother used. They obviously make a vegetarian version now and they use vegetable shortening instead of lard. And when you are shopping for bread, for cornbread slash muffin mixes, you need to read the ingredients because even Bob's Red Mill uses powdered buttermilk. So read for lard, read for milk products and byproducts. You'll need the equivalent of one egg of egg replacer. This is the Follow Your Hearts vegan egg that I'm using today. So this is two tablespoons for that particular brand. You need one cup of vegan, unsweetened, unflavored uh, milk. You'll need one half cup oil or as needed to fry the okra. So go ahead and gather your ingredients, get them together and uh, come back to the video and we'll finish making the fried okra. Welcome back. First thing that we want to do is cut the okra. And what we want to do is cut the tips off and then cut these in about half inch slices. And you want to cut them until, they, until you can start feeling it become kind of hard. Uh, we don't want to fry this part. This part is going to be uh, too tough to eat. So we'll go ahead and do this for all of the okra. And once I am done cutting the okra, I'll go ahead and uh, start breading it. I have my okra all cut up. Let's go ahead and start breading. I have my breading station set up. So I'm going to go ahead and start breading the okra. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up my package of corn muffin mix. Put that in the first pan. Actually, it's going to go in the second pan. Ah. Yeah, we're going to put this in the second pan. And we're going to put in our spices. That's a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to go ahead and mix this up with the pork. Now we have this thoroughly mixed, we're going to go ahead and do our wet. 
and this is going to be one cup of vegan milk unflavored unsweetened and this happens to be soy milk and we're going to put in the equivalent of one egg for egg replacer and go ahead and give this a good mix now we're going to go ahead and bread our okra and you remember a few recipes back when I made the eggplant parmesan one hand wet one hand dry same principle here we want to try to keep this hand from going into the breading and this hand from going much into the liquid here and that just helps keep from being a mess and we'll start to coat the okra into the wet here we need to give the okra a nice good coating that way the cornmeal will stick to it we want to kind of do this in batches try to drain as much of the liquid as you can off the okra and then we'll put it in the cornmeal and then with your dry hand coat the cornmeal onto the okra and then dust off as much of the cornmeal as you can off of the okra and the okra is now ready to fry so I'm going to go ahead and finish battering this okra once I have this okra battered I'll see you over at my stove. I have my okra breaded. Let's go ahead and cook it up. I have my breading station set up. My pan is getting hot right now. My okra is ready. My pan with paper towel is ready. Got to mention you also need a spoon. You're not going to be doing this with your hand. So, just scoop it out of the hot oil. So my pan's starting to get hot. Let me go ahead and add my oil. Once my oil is hot, I'm gonna go ahead and test it out to see if it's ready. And then I'll start frying. I think my oil is getting close. I'm gonna go ahead and test it out here. And what I'm gonna do is put a corner of the okra in the oil and if it bubbles around the okra then we know it's ready and see how it's bubbling there we know this oil is ready so i'm going to go ahead and carefully start putting in the okra I think this batch of okra is ready. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the pan to drain off some of the oil here. And I'm going to go ahead and start another batch. This is what the okra is going to look like when it's done cooking. And I realize I'm serving this on kind of an old and raggedy plate. But this plate is actually one of grandmother's plates that she would feed us on, including her fried okra recipe. Thank you very much for allowing me to share my grandma's fried okra recipe. This recipe and more can be found at thefatveganchef.com. If you'd like this recipe, please share it with your family and friends on your favorite social media site, and also cook it for your kids and your grandkids. We can be found at all social media at The Fat Vegan Chef. Follow us there for updates and even more content. If you found this recipe useful, please help keep me going by donating a dollar or two at tfvc.org forward slash donate. That's tfvc.org forward slash donate. I have to go. This okra is getting cold and I need to eat it.